Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be doing group anagrams in TypeScript. And so in this problem you're given an array of strings and you want to group the anagrams together and you can return an answer in any order. And an anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using the letters exactly once. So for example, here you would group everything together. So Nat and Tan are anagrams because they use the same letters. A, E, and T are the same letters. And here you have this example and here you have the A. So this one's going to be pretty quick and pretty straightforward to do. So essentially all we do is we want to group everything in the same, um, like we want to group everything in the same array that's the same character. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to make a cache and we are just going to, for every single word, we are going to sort the word and then we're going to check if that sorted version is in the cache. So essentially E, like for, let's just walk through that. So here we'll go through E, we'll sort it. So eat sorted is going to be a uh, et and we're going to say is at in the cache no it isn't so then for aet we are going to make an array of the sorted words for it and then we're going to put eat in there and then we're going to go to t we're going to sort that and that is also aet so then we're going to put t in that and then for tan it's sorted ant and so for ant we're going to put tan in there, so tan, and then for eight is also AAT, so we're going to put eight in here, and then for nat is is ant sorted, so we're going to put ant or nat in here, yeah, and then for bat, we don't have it in our thing yet, so at or bat sorted is ABT, and then we have ABT is going to have bat. So once we have this, like it's pretty straightforward. We just sort the word. We check is it in our dictionary already. If it is, just add it to the array for the word. If not, make a new array and add the word. And then finally, you can just return the values. And the values will be like this is a value, this is a value, this is a value, and that will be the the return value that you want the sorted arrays essentially. So I think I screwed one of these up. Um, bat should have been no, actually no. This this, this is this is what they wanted, right? So yeah, bat will be one. Nat and tan. Eight, T and eight, and you can you can return them in any order, and this has to, can be in any order. That's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. So let's actually code that up. And so we what we're gonna do is we are going to just loop through this here. So we can just say uh, we we're gonna make a cache, right? So like I said, so we're gonna make a cache. Now, what type of cache? Like, what's our type? So if you think about it, the string needs to be the sorted word. So we're going to remember for the type of the cache, we can use something called record. So we could say here is a string for the key. And then the um, the value has to be an array of strings. And so you can just say string array here. I don't know why it's uppercase. Uh, oh, we need to do let or const. I think this should be lowercase. There we go. Okay, now it's saying it's declared, must be initialized. Oh yeah, so we're gonna make it just like an empty object. And then we are going to loop through all of the strings. So we can just say like strings dot for each maybe. And then we're gonna take the string. And then we are going like, what are we actually gonna do here? So what we need to do is we need to sort it, right? So let's just make some sorted string. So we could say like const sorted string equals, and so how, how do you sort a string? You can't sort a string directly. So what you need to do is you need to split it. So it's gonna be string split, right? You need to split it into characters and then you need to sort that. So you could do dot sort. And then finally you need to join it again like this. And I think that should work. So essentially, like if you have a word like, I don't know, tan or tan, let's just com put it in a comment. So if we have tan, we're gonna split it, so it's gonna be T-A-N. Then we are gonna sort it, so it's gonna be A-N-T. And then we are gonna join it, and that will be ant. And that will be um, sorted, okay? And then now we have to check if it's in our cache. So there's this another cool thing that I found. So you can just say uh, cache, and then you could say the sorted word, right? The so sorted string equals and then you can actually give it stuff and so you can do something like this you can say cache word string is this question mark and this works 
And this is essentially saying, okay, let's just check if this is in the sorted string. Like, if this is in the sorted string, that means this question mark means if it's if this part is not null or undefined, it's going to be this value. Otherwise, it's going to be this value. And so if you think about it, if this string is in here, you just want it to be like the normal the normal array. And if it's not, you want to make a new array, right? Like you need to you need to actually for every new key, you need to make a new array as the value, and then we're going to be pushing stuff into it. So after we do that, we can, now we can just say cache sorted string dot push, and we want to actually push the string into it, right? And so that'll essentially split the string, sort it, join it, and then it's going to check. Is that sorted string in the cache? If it is, don't do anything. If it isn't, make a new array for the value. And then you need to actually push it into the cache. And so now finally we have the cache, but what we want is the values from the cache, right? So we can just say return object.values from the cache. And that should be, if you think about it, object.values is an array, and then every value is also an array. So that should return our output. And now we can try this out, right? So Let's just try some stuff. So we can say like console log group anagrams, and we can just have some words like tan, ant, uh, nat, and the same thing, right? Um, bat takes us uh, in a minute. Oh, uh, what else? Mat. Tam or something. Okay, that's enough. So let's make this an array. There we go. And once again, we can use Quoka instead of actually just like running Node on this. Uh, okay, thanks for letting me know that. Plus. And so as you can see, it looks to be working as expected. Now let's try a couple other maybe fringe cases. So let's see if we have one word. What happens? Does this work? Let's see if we have an empty string. See if we have an empty string and some stuff. So if we copy all this in. Yeah, it looks to be working correctly. Let's see if we have like, just like spaces. Yeah, looks good to me. Okay, so now we can just copy that and we can export it as always as we export the rest of them. Okay, we don't need to do that though, but if you wanted to use it somewhere else, you could. Now let's go to our leak code. See what happens. Okay. okay, so you can see it's reasonably efficient. I think I noticed for these TypeScript solutions, especially these easy ones, where you really start to see the efficiency is in the harder problems because then there's like less room to like more room to screw up, more room for optimization here. If everyone's kind of doing the same thing, you know, you're just sorting your string. There are like, there's like another way to do it, I think, but for the most part, there isn't too many optimizations you can make here. Um, but yeah, so let's go through the time and space for this one. So for the time, what are we actually doing? So we're going through every every single string, right? And we are sorting it. So how long does that take? Well, sort is n log n, but it's more like k log k for like the length of the string, right? Kind of. So, or m log m or whatever you want to say for because each of these strings is some length and so you're adding all these together so I guess worst case scenario you could argue would be like m is length of longest string something like that would make a lot of sense so yeah it would be something like this and you're doing this every single time so it would be something along the lines of like this times the number of strings. So that would be like n, where the you have the number of strings. So you're doing that, and then everything else is, uh, yeah, I think it's just going to be something like this, where it's m log m times the length of n, where m is like the characters, essentially. Yeah, and all the rest of it is pretty negligible. And then for the space, so what are we doing? So we are actually storing, if you think about it, we're storing every single sorted string in here. And so the space is going to be also like m times n kind of, or number of characters times n or something, where essentially every single character in here will be in our uh, dictionary or cache. And it's going to be, the space of that is just going to be like the number of all the characters combined, essentially. So somewhere along those lines. Okay, 
But yeah, that's going to be it for this problem. Hopefully you liked it. And if you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.